Where's Roland? I want to talk about Springsteen because sure. Governor Christie's pissed off, and, he, and we got audio. <laughs> this fi- this photo Speaking of E Rock is <laughs> hilarious. It, that's looked- the cartoon version of E Rock, <laughs> right? Can you please get him that outfit? There's one where it shows the hair of the character because E Rock's got you know a full head of hair. I can't believe how much weight L- Roland's lost in a week and a half. That could be you. I know, but come on. Why not? I'm going to lose weight. Roland started um, some controversy for real, and it's gotten to the point where Governor Christie, governor of New Jersey, had to comment about it. Roland, uh, take us back to the Springsteen show. What was it, two weeks ago now? Yeah, a few weeks ago, yeah. Roland's sitting there enjoying the show, and uh, Governor Christie's there. Uh, how, how close? Um, a few rows. A friend of mine snapped a picture, and then his people were called, like, what, what was going on? Then he wanted to delete the picture, but working for you guys, I said, huh? Hey, Tweet it. Right. So Roland tweeted a picture of Governor Christie. Was- Wait, so did they make you delete the picture? No, he was going to delete like on his own, so he was he got scared. But right. I was like, give me the picture. And I tweeted it. So they just said delete it. They didn't stand there and watch him what? actually do no. it. Why aren't they showing the picture? Because uh, more and more places are starting to talk about this dumb thing. I know. The Who Bruce cares Springsteen if website. He was- who cares if he was even sleeping at the show? Who cares? Springsteenbackstreets.com showed it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is it still on your Twitter? Yeah, I just reposted it. What's your Twitter again? At Rolandos99. And I tagged you, too. Opie Radio. At Rolandos99. Okay, if you want to see Governor Christie with his eyes closed, Roland and his friends swear that he was sleeping. And uh, then Letterman did jokes on it. It's made some blogs. And now Governor Christie had a comment about it. Yeah, because he was. During Rocky Mountain, Bruce does like a five-minute speech about the poverty, how the recession, how people should help out. And like uh, being fat too, when it's warm in the arena, you sit down, you kind of doze off. It happens, mm-hmm. and that's what happens. You swear, so he, he, you swear he, he was sleeping. Yeah. So he was doing it during a speech. He fell asleep during a speech. Yeah. Then during the song, he kind of like was until yeah. people started yelling at him. That yeah. is obviously a guy sleeping. Because he said he was. That's not even a guy that just closes his eyes for a, a quick sec. Yeah. He said he was on top of his seat, sitting like when it's folded, you can sit on top of it. Right. But no fat guy could do that. Right. Come on now. You think he's sleeping in that photo there, Florentine? Yeah, it looks like it. I'd say 85%. You know, he could be shutting his eyes, but it seems like he's shut. That's, you know, completely shutting your eyes Maybe if he's he, in the middle of blinking. So right. it looks like he, he's on the phone <laughs> jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his dick in the other hand, and he's got the phone, and some girl's talking dirty to him right now. Or he's ordering a sub and yeah. he's jerking off. Well, it got to the point where he had a comment about it. This shows you, like, the level of intrusiveness now into my life, okay? I mean, there's some. It's one in one channel, huh? How do we fix that shit? I don't know. How do we fix that shit? Where's Mars to shake it? No, it's probably how it was recorded. Yeah. Joker taking pictures of me at Madison Square Garden. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Um, don't I lie. I was sitting there. Uh, where's Deborah Gold Grimiccioni? She was in the hallway. Where's Grimiccioni? Get over here. Come here. Get up here. Come on, Deborah. I don't want you to take my word for it. Deborah, get on up here. All the way up, Deborah. All the way up. All of you know my policy chief, Deborah Grimiccioni. Now, Deborah and I were at the concert together at Madison Square Garden. You were sitting next to me, were you not? Yes, I was. Did at any time, <laughs> this is, this is, you know, we were in the U.S. Attorney's Office together, so we're used to doing this. At any time, Deborah, during the show, did I fall asleep? Absolutely not. Thank you. Um, I- okay, you can get anyone to have your back. What does yeah. that prove? And yeah, what is she going to say? Yes, yeah, she did, you uh, fat slob. Of course, she yeah. works for the guy. <laughs> That's her yeah. version of, I didn't do shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every, every time you eat a whole bag of fucking Oreos, you fall asleep. Yes, you did. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that prove? How long do you think he was sleeping for? Um, well, someone yelled, wake up, you fatty. Started screaming at them. Like, hey, oh, really? It, so was it was obvious. like a couple minutes, maybe, you think? Yeah. Well, then we were yelling, fucker, we'll get out. He should have $5 bills screaming. thrown at him. Mm. Absolutely not. Thank you. Um, I, you're done now, Deborah. That's good. Um... <laughs> Well, well done, Deborah. Um, you know what happened was during during Rocky Ground, which is like kind of a really spiritual song. Um, people sat, so I sat up on the seat and I put my head back and closed my eyes and listened to the song. Um, you know, when I was like fist pumping during Badlands, nobody, you know, I'm glad no one took pictures of that. Um, you know, when I was when I was singing to out in the street, thankfully no one took pictures of that. When I was contorting myself during Because the Night, no one took pictures of that. Um, I, was, I was sitting there listening to what is, and for those of you who haven't, if you don't have the, the disc, 
listened to Rocky Ground, very spiritual song. I sat back, closed my eyes, and listened to the song. Nobody closes their eyes at a concert. No. You're there to watch it. And also, you don't. Well, well, so you can listen closer to the words. You do that when you're laying in bed and you want to listen to a song or right. something like that. You don't. You're so you right. Don't close your you eyes. A slow song. You don't close no. your eyes. And in the Springsteen show, eighteen thousand people remain standing. Well, it's his word against yours, Roland. Was he sleeping at this concert or not? Yeah, because during the brief show, he stands up. He goes, "Razz up," and everybody's like, Woo. I wonder if his people know that uh, this show started the controversy <laughs> with just in everyone's business all the time. Do they have any idea, you think? I don't know. Are That's you a little scary. nervous? Uh, Bruce hates people. him. Bruce hates him. So he's a How do you know fuck. Bruce hates him? Because um, Bruce won't uh, give him free tickets or anything for his shows. I don't uh, know Bruce is a, Bruce's on, camp won't. But he doesn't like give him. anyone free tickets. Bruce he, is what? His camp won't give him any tickets or anything. What's up? Anyone that's even close to being a Democrat despises Christian Jersey. And, and Bruce is a fucking hardcore, so of course he's going yeah, to he hate him. He gets mad when he plays uh, Bruce's songs. They're starting to say uh, Mitt's gonna, Mitt Romney's going to pick uh, Governor Christie now. That'd be hilarious. And not Rubio. <laughs> Rubio doesn't really want it, the VP. Now they're saying it looks looking like Christie. Might get the nod. Hopefully this will follow him all the way to the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you really want a vice president that falls asleep at a concert? Yeah, really. <laughs> What's he going to do when he's talking to head of a state? Dude, you realize if you had a video, how that would be gold. If you had two minutes of him oh, with his eyes know. closed snoring, that would be gold. My What's wrong with you guys? What what is, have you learned anything yet? No. You fucking turn that shit on and start recording. I will. Hmm. What kind of phone do you have? iPhone? iPhone. That's the iPhone? What iPhone? Oh, no, no, that was his BlackBerry. That was a BlackBerry. Oh, okay. That's Blackberry. A See, photo. that's a, it's a great photo for a BlackBerry. Shit photo. For a BlackBerry, it's a good photo. All right, for a BlackBerry. It's, uh, it's not bad. My photos come out great on my BlackBerry. BlackBerry stinks. If it's Jimmy, just his little head pop up. Yeah. All right, Roland. So, there you go. There's the controversy. It continues to build. Did you see uh, Iraq's injuries over the weekend, Roland? No. You weren't following him on Twitter with the scratches and the boards hitting him in the side of the face, the purpose set, the I can't eat for a couple of days, the no, mystery, all I, that shit. I got the Twitter. Oh, yeah. He shut down his Twitter and Facebook. <laughs> Why? He said the next, uh, then we had to play tennis during the weekend ahead of tons of free time. What did you just say about playing tennis? He I said said that now that he's not on Twitter, I, I read Roland. Yeah? I, I do. Uh, that he you know has more time for other things like playing tennis. Oh. Tennis. 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 I did hear tennis. At Riverside Park, yeah. Oh, okay. You've been playing tennis? Yeah. Had tons of time. Is that your thing, tennis? No. Did somebody blow a load in your armor? Oh, no, I had a, the, something bit me at the park. He's not Did, a real man, you this Roland. Watched... He's not even married like I am. <laughs> he should be going to the fucking emergency room, man. Oh, yeah. That Iraq, looks serious. Iraq, Iraq, you want to take a look? What do you think? I got, got Crozone 10, and I went to the Not Pussy aisle. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. That's rough. Wow. Iraq, you want to do a little triage and see if he should... Uh... I'll just give him some Percocet. It'll clear it right up. Yeah. 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 So Roland uh, got rid of his Twitter because... Um, can I say why? Yeah, to me, people are tweeting at me. Jesus Christ. Oh, God forbid people tweet at you. That's the whole purpose well, of Twitter. I didn't want to yeah. say anything bad. We're, cause we're, like, we're everyone... all hoping a million people tweet at us. That's why we do it. Want to keep but, it on the QT? Well, I, I mean, I didn't want to say anything. Like, then they take it out of... Is it true that you're worried... Uh, well, you, you you started the uh, Governor Christie controversy that is growing by the moment, by the way. MSNBC has done two stories on it alone in the first hour. I mean, my friend... You swear he was sleeping? He could, I don't know. He could have been enjoying <laughs> the music. Back. I don't know. I sleep everywhere. I sleep at concerts, um, Broadway plays. I think it's fine. Uh, Fat guys sleep. That's what we do. They even showed your tweet from your old Twitter account on MSNBC. Today. It has your, they had your tag on it? Yeah, thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, yeah. Why, no, no. why would he get, why would Governor Christie get mad at that? It's like, don't don't go to a fucking place where there's 18,000 people and doze I, off. But is it, his, I snored at a Broadway play and then... Yeah, he, but you're not that close to the a presidency. Broadway play. Oh. He's pretty close to the presidency because he, he's being looked know. at as the, you know, the VP, which could easily lead to the fucking presidency uh, eventually. Oh, boy. So I guess he doesn't want any of this shit. They, he doesn't want people thinking he just falls asleep easy. Well, that's what fat guys do. I am a fat guy. But I fall asleep everywhere. He doesn't want the world to know Drunk. that he's an actual fat guy. <laughs> or a big guy. That's, I mean, I he's sleep He's a everywhere. huge guy. His waist has to be 55. Yeah. Yeah, he's giant. 
He's a he's giant Look, around the. Is that embarrassing to be seen as a big fat guy who just dozes off at like like for him? I'm saying at a Springsteen show, especially. I did that at Paul McCartney. I was like I was like I was so excited, sweating. I had big bar a big barbecue lunch and pastel. Well, the funny thing is, Governor Christie had a comment, and uh, the, do we have his comment yet? We should have all this stuff because Roland started this. We should yeah. just have all this audio. There's somebody from ABC called my did friend. Did he a press conference? This all started with our show. So the Governor Christie shit we just should have on our yeah. show. I think we had that dish for you. Didn't we play it? Uh, on Friday? Uh, oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. But I guess my point is they're still doing it today. So Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, it should be. We didn't all right. get rid of it. You're right. Yeah. But what? E-Rock, if you have that, I need it immediately. My friend who I haven't seen in a while, she does news on ABC. She goes, why don't you come and do brunch and talk to me? Oh really? Yeah. So like, why are you worried? Because I rumor has it there's a guy around here that might be friends with Christy and it might affect your job. No, no. It's, they say the <laughs> friends, but that's it. He's not a big wig, thank God. Yeah. You didn't do anything wrong, buddy. But his explanation, he says he he put his head back to enjoy the music, but the picture Roland took, his head is forward, yeah. like you would do if you're getting a quick few. Unless uh, if he's winks it, unless if he's closing the eyes and taking in Bruce, fine. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's see the story. First of all, this shows you like the level of intrusiveness now into my life. Okay, I mean, it's some joker taking pictures of Roland. me at the square garden. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what happened. Yeah. He pause just real um, quick. Sorry, I was sorry. sitting there. Uh, I'll say this about uh, Christy. He's annoying me already. I understand intrusiveness in a private life. You're in the garden, <laughs> shithead. <laughs> you're in Madison Square Garden. And, and you're, you're, not, you're not in your backyard. And you're in the public eye. 20,000 people. They're mentoring you as a, mentioning you as a possible VP candidate. Uh, you're at a concert in front of 20,000 people. And, and someone goes, holy shit, it looks like he's sleeping. Yeah, of course they're going to take that picture. Of yeah. course. Every time they should. Yeah, that's something. But already he just seems like a prick he the way he's a, defending himself. He comes across a little pricky. Yeah. Politically, pricky. I don't know shit about him. So this is not a political thing I'm going for. Mm -hmm. Just as a human being, he seems to be a bit pricky. I believe he's against gay marriage. So uh, kind of maybe that's why he doesn't oh, no. like gays. He would tell you that he wants the people to vote for that. Oh, is that what he said? Well, I guess that's the people's right to say what 200 I, I know, yeah, yeah. That's no, he yourself. says I'd rather have them, you know, the people vote for it. Cool. How about if we have certain health requirements to get fucking health insurance weight-wise? Uh, how, how, how if the governor would feel about that? Let the people vote if, for uh, it. Yeah, let the people vote for that. Yeah. I wonder how he'd feel about yeah, let that. let the people vote if you're fat. <laughs> but no, but seriously, you know what? That motherfucker's on the, he's got fucking state health care. I guarantee the government's paying for his health care. Nice. Why don't we have the right to say you can't fucking look like that mm -hmm. and be that much of a health risk if the government's going to pay for your, uh, your fucking health care? There you go. Roland. I'm not attacking big people. You know, I'm just, I'm mad at him. Roland, stay strong, man. You saw, I mean, the picture speaks for itself. It, it looks like he could be sleeping. Yeah. You didn't do anything wrong. I know. I sleep everywhere. Yeah, so Joker. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, his friend called him from Iceland and saw my picture in Icelandic news. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I just stayed home and watched Puss in Boots. <laughs> you should have <laughs> You should have fucking left your Twitter up, though, man. You shouldn't take your Twitter Yeah, you put your you Twitter back up. But the fans, were, the, the fans were at... Him and they were just saying, Who cares? Let them. You didn't do anything wrong. I know. He killed his Facebook, too. Dude, Roland, you are, he's almost, you are a paranoid <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> he's almost Why a vice presidential so candidate. He's a public figure. Why are you scared? <laughs> I don't know. Liam scared me, the asshole. <laughs> what did he do? What did Liam say? I don't know. He's saying things in my head. I'm like, huh? Liam, what? This Liam's is why we have Facebook and Twitter, hoping that we get huh? the big bump. Liam's we're we're been, all that guy. He's been following Roland around since this whole thing happened. And every time I see them talking, Liam's going, You know, there are people here who could be friends with Chris Christie, he's, and and you know name names. Enough of these people. Who? You could get here. in trouble. He fucked with my head. <laughs> no, you can't. Who <laughs> might like? Him. Who who might be friends with him? Uh, I don't know. What did, you tell me. What he did just, Liam say? He, he said, said, said the that. bosses in the corner that are above bladder. So who cares? Give a shit. Give he, a fuck. If this was his backyard, like if you were driving by his house and you caught him in his yard. That's a kind of a dicey area, but in a, in Madison Square Garden, yeah, too bad. If you didn't take that photo, maybe somebody else would have. Although nobody did except you. <laughs> <laughs> I just Joker. tweeted it. Yeah, go ahead, Joker. <laughs> 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 I thought he meant me because I tell yeah. jokes. Oh, no, boy. I, I call my mom, and all my mom was like, "I go, hey, mom." She goes, "I saw Who's you, this? idiot." <laughs> <laughs> I know. I didn't even vote. Last last election, I went to go get pizza. By the time I got back, it was closed. Oh, well, it's too bad. All right, let's see what Christy <laughs> says. 
He uh, he's spitting this shit. It looks like he might have went for a little snooze. Maybe he had a very yeah. long day. Then you're at the Springsteen show, and that asshole has to do five it, hour concert. Uh, it was hot too. It was warm in there. How, how way, many the, hours was the concert? Three and change. You don't need three and change. Two is nice. <laughs> and two is a nice concert. Mm, two that, hours. And the, fact, Bruce, the fact that Rollins from the Opie and Anthony show, <laughs> I'm sure that they're doing a good job here of pushing forward the story that the Opie and Anthony show is involved with something that's got no, that's, too, that's too scary. Yeah. They don't like they don't like scary press. Oh. They like that boring in. fucking milk toast press. That's not even scary press. It was a public oh, to figure them in a public it is. Oh, to them that's scary. We can't push that out because they'd have to get the okay from his people before they really the okay. Why? That's, that's what, what they, they do. do. To getting oh wait to getting the okay. To post a picture of a public figure in a public they, place, it looks like he's sleeping. Yeah. The logic around here is if they're gonna like push, you know, uh, publicity that everyone has to be okay with it, even the person that's involved. Oh, that's horseshit. Like, what would be? They would, they would call him and go, you know, we're gonna push this little story. Are you okay with it? Of course, he would say no. <laughs> of course. Yeah, why would I be? <laughs> right, let's hear. Him. I'm sorry to interrupt it. I'll listen to this excuse. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Um, I was sitting there. Uh, where's Deborah Gold Grimicioni? She was in the hallway. Where's Grimicioni? Get over here. Come here. Get up here. Come on, Deborah. I don't want you to take my word for it. Deborah, get on up here. All the way up, Deborah. Listen to this hack movie. All the way up. Oh, this you know so my policy hacked. chief, Deborah Grimicioni. With now, Deborah and I were at the concert together Boobies. at Madison nice. Square Garden. You were sitting nice. next to me, were you not? Yes, I was. Did at any time... <laughs> this is, this is, you know, we were in the U.S. Attorney's Office together. So I was crunched in the seat next to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your fat was on my yeah, fucking arm. Eight other people. <laughs> he's about to do the hackiest thing. Someone that works for him was at the concert, and he's <clears> asking <throat> her if he, if he was sleeping. What do you think she's going to say? He's annoying, though, as a I, guy. He, he really is perky, man. He's, he seems like a douchebag. Get up here. Get up here. I yeah. know, right? He just seems like a like he's trying to be a regular guy, but he's a douche. Mm. Right. You he's, think of that vibe, too? Yeah, definitely. That he's an absolute douchebag. I was thinking the same thing with, like, get up here, get up here. It's like, ew, really? Get, get, get young, where are you? Get no, up no. here. He's hiding, uh, he's hiding the fact that he's fat. Yeah, you know well, what I mean? You think so? Overcompensating? Yeah. Overcompensating, big time. He's talking like a jock, but he obviously doesn't have that physical appearance no, at all. No, no. Yeah, and if he doesn't like the fact that his physical appearance is brought into tough shit, again, you don't mind having other people's fucking private lives and private behaviors somehow uh, be up for grabs by the public, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> at any time, Deborah, during the show, did I fall asleep? Absolutely not. Thank you. Um, uh, you're done now, Deborah. That's good. Um, yeah, you're done. He just dismisses her. Well, well done, Deborah. Um, you know what happened was during during Rocky Ground, which is like kind of a really spiritual song. Um, people sat, so I sat up on the seat and I put my head back and closed my eyes and listened Pause. to the song. Oh yeah. The picture he blew it right there. The picture does not show his head. Can we see the picture? Because I think his head looked forward. Yeah, it's yeah. it's completely forward. Because yeah, if you it's, said you said you're higher. Huh? If you sit up on the seat. If you sep you're higher. If you sep you're higher. Yeah. Say is is that no, someone no. whose head is back to enjoy the music? This look at look <laughs> and it says in the corner, this is from England. Oh, it says man. copyright at Rolando's ninety nine hundred. Oh, nice. <laughs> And it's Look in, at you. It's Why in the Daily you Mail in England. You have Why would you shut right? down your Twitter? Why would you, you shut followers? down your Twitter? Can, can you start it back up? Or you I, don't want to? Uh, I don't want to. Start it back up. You didn't do anything wrong. Why? Start it back Why? up, What's bro? the matter with you? You plucked my date, you fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> You know, it's in honor of Governor. I will have all. I will have all answers uh, at the antisocial comedy tour June 19th at the MGM. If you want, I'll do that. I'll start please, tweeting. I'll start tweeting your dates, dude. Please only tweet on my gay. I will. <laughs> this thing is going everywhere. You guys start it back up, Roland. Uh, I'll do it today. You have 30 days, and then because this is yeah, kind of getting a little please. political. Because you know he's oh. he's being considered considered as. Uh, a possible VP. I was, po I was, not, I was looking at the elbow. Rubio's going to I need to know him. why Meta Peace uh, decided not to be so peaceful. Wow. wow. What a jerk All right, go off. back to that clip. I didn't know he was running for VP. I know. No, he's not running. Oh. I mean, he, you get chosen to be VP, oh. and he's in the running, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh. He yeah, he's, uh, he's on the short list. He's trying, like... not to, he's trying not to look like an asshole at the Springsteen <laughs> concerts. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Rolling Lads. Um... <laughs> You know, when I was like fist pumping during Badlands, nobody, you know, I'm glad no one took pictures of that. Um, you know, when I was when I was singing to out in the street, 
thankfully no one took pictures of that. When I was contorting myself during Be Cause the Night, no one took pictures of that. Um, I, was, I was sitting there listening to what is, and, and for those of you who haven't, if you don't have the, the disc, listen to Rocky Ground, very spiritual song. I sat back, closed my eyes, and listened to the song. Mm. Um, now, what they're conflating, what the New York Post conflated was, conflating. earlier in the show, there's um, a song called Death of My Hometown, which is off the new disc. And Bruce did a little, one of his little speeches beforehand. You know about the robber barons and the rich and the 1% and the nine, you know, the normal Bruce stuff. And at that time, they would somebody you, right? who was apparently yeah. not a political well, supporter yeah. of mine <laughs> yelled from a few rows That's back, hear that? Wake up, Governor. Wake up. Now, the joker who took the picture, uh -huh. which was much later on in the evening, joker. conflated the two stories to make it sound better to every sold to on page six. Oh, the guy was asking me to wake up politically. How much money did you make? During death of my hometown. Pause. We got the exclusive interview. For, for real. <laughs> right this now is becoming with the guy. A, yeah. and, uh, the, because this is becoming a big story. <laughs> did you sell the picture to anyone, Roland? I make shit. And I had I didn't sell anything. I have no. I didn't get money for the picture. Money for nothing. You just thought it was hilarious that this guy is snoozing was, at a stupid Springsteen show. So he took a picture. Being and tweeted a diehard it. Bruce fan, I, my buddy took the picture and I just tweeted. I'm thinking, look, this is funny. Like, right. like I learned from him. Like, yeah, it's funny. Just send it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So no. I I got zero money for it. And did you like put the two stories together? No. He's saying you put the two stories together because someone shouted out, wake up, governor. I think somebody... And then later on, you saw him with his eyes closed and went, oh, wait, I could take a picture and make it look like he was sleeping. I just that's wake what up, he's governor. That's what he's saying right now. If I was if I was told a story, I would have on my Twitter, on my, on my Facebook, just tweeting away. Right. But we could tell you that uh, yeah, Roland did not sell this fucking picture. No. Governor Christie. He does have the copyright on it. Global copyright. Global, Global copyright. copyright. Amazing. According well, to the Daily Mail in the yeah, well, yeah, probably, yeah. They, they probably got some interns saying, uh, just see, fuck it. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't understand Something about that. interns. I right. said probably the Daily Mail got some interns. Just, they said, just put oh, the copyright. Yeah, yeah. The intern <laughs> told the interns to put the copyright. Uh, and thankfully, the blaze, it doesn't matter if you shut down your Twitter or not, because they actually screen capped the entire tweet with the picture. Oh, right, yeah. So your picture is still right there. In Opie Radio. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wow, Springsteen Gay, that's hilarious. That is funny. They call it Snoosteen. They called them. Oh, uh, boy. All right, back to Christy, because he's just, <clears throat> he's trying to spin this shit. Down, and then I was kind of taking in spiritually rocky ground. Um, and so that's the explanation of the story. I have never fallen asleep during a Bruce Springsteen show. I will never fall asleep during a Bruce Springsteen show. Do you know when the last time somebody said they were being publicly spiritual that I heard? Right. Was when Roland fell asleep in a meeting and said he was praying when he woke up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, Roland likes falling asleep. I at meetings. I'm Twittering to the governor from you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold so on. Good. I am right now. I'm not. I'm saying, hey, Governor Christie, this is Roland. I'm putting a picture of you, oh, thank mm. you. who snapped your snooze photo. He did not make a dime from it. Yes. Good. Good. That should be known. He's spreading misinformation. <laughs> from it. With Mister Information. <laughs> Plus, I not That's my joke, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I had low blood sugar. Hold on. LBS. LBS. <laughs> and I'm going to say something about how about you're opening yourself for a lawsuit. No, oh, or, I like or that. see you in your Twitter in like your that. show. What's that? <laughs> Put your dates. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, it's> fine. <laughs> <laughs> we will be answering all your dates. <laughs> hey, Governor Christie, this is Roland, who snapped your snooze photo. He did oh, not. Oh, I just tweeted it. Make a like dime that. from it. How many articles are, are appearing? Today's the day where it's growing a little bit. About him sleeping, you got Huffington Post, Fox 5. Okay, all 463 news articles. Wow. Whoa! 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 San Francisco Chronicle, hmm. Mediaite, ABC How 6. How about we give Stump Brain a little help today? Theblaze.com. Has the whole story. Here's MSNBC. They just reported on it. Oh, yes. Please tell us it's time. time for some news you can't use. This story actually happened at the end of last week, but we were busy at Fenway, so we're going to catch you up right now. A political scandal brewing in the state of New Jersey called oh, no. Snoozegate. What? A fake political scandal, our favorite kind. Governor Chris <laughs> Christie <laughs> denies. He's now, taking it all nasty. Denies that he fell asleep during the April 9th Springsteen concert at Madison Square Garden. This is a photograph taken of him and posted to Twitter. <laughs> 
photo that appears to show him taking a snooze he's during not. the Springsteen show. You know he's not. The governor fought back last week. <laughs> Me thinks thou doth no, no, protest yeah. too much. No further questions. It looks like he was up on the stand and yeah, cross examined the lawyer. There's a, little, there's a little checkers in there. He didn't fall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to talk to former Republican presidential candidate. You don't know if he fell asleep. I really don't know either, to be honest with you. Mm. I'm taking Roland's word for it, but well, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, so. Yeah. He could have been taking this show with his eyes closed. It's uh, next probably, time, not, probably keep, not, though. Keep him open. Plus, but plus, your Rocky Mountain Bruce has okay. a famous speech. Well, Rollins' tweet, which he tried to delete, says, "Governor Christie really want us to believe he wasn't sleeping. It was warm at MSG. Fat people get sleepy." I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fat guy. I'm uh, that's a fat I'm guy to talking to a fat guy, though, Sam. That's okay. That's You're allowed okay. to do that, dude. I'm 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 over. That's why I'm on a diet. And that's why I delete my Twitter because I'll probably oh, say something worse. You're so scared. Why, you're so why would you delete scared. Twitter? I don't know. I'm scared. It's Twitter. That's what Twitter's made for. That is exactly what Twitter's made for, is what you did. Yeah, who gives Rat a out fat people for falling asleep. Uh, you know, a, run. One he, liners again, and all that other shit. You hope something catches on out there. He's a public figure I know, but I, I just, who is in a public place. You're, you're a hundred percent. And his eyes are closed during a concert. No, nobody could think that you're. First of all, you're not with the governor, so you're only speculating on what you saw as anybody could. Look at all those people. He's in a public place. That's a. That's that's what Twitter. Let me was see made that for. again. Right there. Hey, I fell asleep during Knicks game near courtside before, and they put me up on the jumbotron. Everybody laughed at me. Yeah, but you're. Is not, he sitting on the? Oh, no. You're you not going to be the vice president. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> all right. If more news clips come in, let's go with it. Roland was literally calling me all weekend talking about Chris Christie. You're oh, worried. really? Roland, You're obsessed. Why are you worried? I don't know. That's what I do. I panic. You do panic. Well, I, 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 I made a mistake. I didn't tweet it before, but here we are. Hey, Governor Christie, this is Roland, <laughs> who took your snooze photo. Yeah. He did not make a dime from it. I said um, that already. Send. That's for an attraction. Nice. Retraction. Yeah. That's right. Buy me a calzone, I'll call it even. <laughs> You're on a diet, remember? Uh, Still, I know you probably go to good places. Why is it Why? failing to post tweet? What? Why do you think that? Check my Twitter real Look quick, Sam. Did it go up? Sure. It's saying failing to fail to post tweet. Oh, shit. Conspiracy. Dang. He locked you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not up yet. Mm. Why? <clears throat> Governor controls uh, Twitter. Could why be. would why it, why doesn't this save you fucking your drafts? What doesn't this piece of shit Echo fan? I use the Twitter app. It saves your drafts. That mm -hmm. stinks. The Twitter app. I had nothing but problems with that one. I've never had any problems. Oh well, I'm I didn't do Twitter app. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried the official Twitter app? Yeah, it yeah I don't sucked. like it that much. Oh. <laughs> right, that stink, doesn't it? No, I don't like it as much. I can't fucking believe Roland doesn't use any of them because he deleted his Twitter. He got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this I guy? Don't know. He finally gets a hit. And Plus, it's good for the show. They keep telling us that we need to kind of be in, you yeah, know, making did, sure we're part of news stories. They did oh, really? tell us that during the meeting, yes. They said we should start, like Benji did it with Howard, and they said, well, you guys should start doing that. Cause Benji, was he drink a lot? Oh, God. <laughs> so, well, how about this? So why don't, that's the loophole. They told us to, hey, you guys should create press. Well, then the why show. don't they fucking help push the story? Yeah, I get in trouble. God Almighty! The, <laughs> it just—it's—it's—it's it's, it's, it, this really is a harmless story. Yeah. It is. This, this it, is it's not, not, it's not like a, it's not a sexual scandal. No. It's not saying he was drunk in public and driving around. It's literally a who gives a fuck. Fell asleep at a spring. Yeah, 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 cares. Cares. You think if something happens like nine eleven, he, he, Christy would go, oh, oh. Oh, looks like oh. Snoozegate is oh. over. Snoozegate <laughs> takes a back seat to this story. I tell Sam I'm praying for a tsunami or tornado. <laughs> Roland wants thousands of lives right, right. to be, to be gone. Like, I just say that. off the face of the earth. I just to have one. So he can bring his Twitter back. <laughs> <laughs> Did it show up yet, Sam? I love um, laughing like Roland. <laughs> the greatest. Well, why don't we yep. uh, why don't we go through the motions? Like, why don't we ask why they didn't push this story out? I don't know. Well, why don't we let's be ask... proactive, guys, instead of just bitching. Well, Dude, let's I, be proactive. I go back there all the time and ask. Oh, questions. I know you do, Jimmy. Let's be proactive and see. Uh, you know, we have a publicity department, I guess, right? 
technically. All right, go to them and go. Did you even? Are you even aware that this whole thing started with the Opie and Anthony show? I bet you they're not even aware. They don't like negative publicity. In the publicity department. But it's not really. How come they didn't mind when it was Anthony Weiner? Let, let's be real honest oh. here. Oh, they minded. Oh, yeah, they, didn't they like that. minded. They were very worried. They don't like anything. They're very happy it worked out in the end, but they would have having rather good, that not have happened on our show. Having good relationships with public figures is paramount to this company. Of course. Yeah, how else are you going to... You're not going to be a law for Governor Christie a $10 million dollar okay. fucking contract to spin his favorite Springsteen songs Precisely. for a weekend. I'll tell you exactly why this company would be this story. Dr. Gay. Well, I Dr. Have a, Gay! Thank you. I have a cult, so I have to, like, <laughs> Dr. Gay. Fucking queer. We try to keep it fun. Yeah, a bunch you know? of dicks or something. All right. Wow. Sorry, T. Thanks, Chip. <laughs> 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 Since this this company and, and I don't even know this for a fact, I'm just speculating. This company has a Bruce Springsteen channel. They would never imply that it's possible oh. to fall asleep to Bruce Springsteen. Oh, Roland, I forgot about that. You're so fucked. You are. Fucked. I forgot they had the Springsteen. <laughs> Why would you embarrass yeah. Bruce like that? Why, Why would you? Do that? Would you take a chance like that? I embarrass Bruce. His concerts are so entertaining. Holy fuck! That is a massive channel for Sirius XM. You're so fucked. The biggest. <laughs> then again. He's fucked. He's no, fucked. I, I don't know. We he's forgot because none of us really listen to that channel. I love that channel. I listen to it all the time. Let's say this: not. maybe Roland's not it. fucked because Bruce Springsteen probably does not go for Governor Christie's politics. No, no. so I think that he would see a Governor Christie falling asleep at one of his as typical, <sighs> right? Typical <laughs> big money guy who doesn't give a hoot. Just there to be seen. Just uh, there to be seen. Sleeping. I just posted that picture to Twitter. That's yeah. a good shot. I took a Roland. That is a nice shot there. Roland trying to explain himself. You can see the out fear of in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, you can really see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, why is Governor Christie making this a witch hunt against Roland? We got to get on this. Exactly. So they wouldn't uh, push this story because of the Springsteen channel. But Bruce Springsteen himself, I, I'm with Jimmy, would love this Absolutely. story. Yeah, I love he Bruce. He would love this. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Bruce's... I don't think I think his Twitter is not really his Twitter is a fan Twitter. Is well, like, no, but we know I'll, some people in the in his camp. <laughs> we, we knew people. We know. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna text his guy right now. Yep. <laughs> Stories that get pushed are like if Roland took a picture of Governor Christie doing like a good job, <laughs> and then all the news was like, "Whoa, look what a great job Governor Christie's doing!" And then we'd be like, "Yeah, that was us." Do they understand that the negative publicity is what really like? Drives That's where the juice is. Radio shows and whatnot. Yeah, they no, just shoot. sleep. <laughs> Who cares if it's a positive fucking story? It is. He got yeah. tired. I got tired. I sleep everywhere. You think he fell asleep for sure? I don't know. I sleep everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I sleep. I he sleep probably at, does too. I sleep at Broadway plays. Ron, I don't want to make you paranoid, but I forgot about the Springsteen channel. <clears throat> there could be some issues now. They love public figures and they love Springsteen. Yeah, that's that's. And you two shit on both right of them. I shit on Bruce. <laughs> Hard. Oh, man. I was shambers. Diarrhea. I know. You were shitting on the Springsteen <laughs> channel. I never. Basically saying, look, it's a waste of time. People fall asleep to this music. I yeah. never said that. Yeah. I said, I, I love heard. Bruce. No, was, I heard that, too. Yeah. Right. I always exactly love Bruce. Well, I'm getting, word to, to, I'm getting word to Bruce that, you know. Good. I love Not Bruce. only did you shit on him, it was poop, diarrhea, poop. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bruce. <laughs> Hope it sells albums. Well, I'd say it, it didn't hurt because Governor Christie's up there naming the record just to prove he's a fan. Yeah, you know, well, it was the fourth song on the third album. It was recorded in a rainy Tuesday. Oh, we got it. You like Bruce. <laughs> but I didn't like the way he dismissed Bruce going, he's doing what he's making one of his speeches. Well, then why are you going to see him? I guess he likes the music. I love the speeches, too. Yeah, well, you love Bruce. No, You're I, a real fan. Governor Christie. I think Governor Christie proved it fair with a fan. Sleepy boy fan. Yeah, just goes there to I, be seen and take a nap because I, I, uh, why I, wouldn't he love Bruce's speeches? I think it's calculated. I think Governor Christie is a Springsteen fan because he's the governor of New Jersey. Right. As opposed to Roland. But then he picks up the new album and has a few songs just in case in his back pocket. So he's like, no, I know, I know his shit. Or he had to learn them after. He probably never had to answer questions about the record. That would never come up anywhere. But now he has to. He's like, now he has to say that. So he's probably like, what's quick? What's the name of the record? I would love to know how big of a fan he really is. Uh, although someone told me he, he, he's he gone to a lot of shows, 115. Huh? He right, probably is then a he's a fan. fan, then. I guess he's a fan. I him. hope people don't start accusing Governor Christie of being a Fairweather fan compared to Roland. Oh, please. Roland is the ultimate. I love Bruce. You mean on Twitter and stuff? Obviously. 
When you yeah, on Twitter. You blow him. That's are pretty you, much. Did we calm you down, or are you oh. more paranoid now? You have nothing to oh, be. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. Fuck my diet. I'm gonna be like fucking three pieces tonight. <laughs> no, stay on your diet. These are the tough times. No, we. I think we walked you through it. You're good. You did good. You could have affected the election in this country. Do you understand? <laughs> oh man. Do you understand? That's the world we live in. Oh my God. Right. That is the world we live That's in. That's the world we live in. This now. show did something that I think was crazy, but yeah. in the end was okay for the show, and did eventually. Yeah. The photo that was sent out by Gregorio and Antonio is what caused Nancy Pelosi to say he has to step down. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. That was the picture. Was when, when, the con when the actual erection picture came out, <laughs> yes. that was the fucking, that was the moment that, was, that and, the Speaker of the House said he had to step down. And this company was not <laughs> happy about that. It worked out in the end, but they were fucking not happy. A lot of people tweeting. Too much too. attention. They don't like too much attention no, that way at all. Scared. A lot of people tweeting to Governor Christie actually right now. I hope they're not rude to him. I mean, I just, I wouldn't want to be rude to, to the governor. What yeah. about, like, wake up, you dud? Oh. Something like that. Well, I, it, the thing is... Nice sleep apnea, yeah. dick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean... Uh, that's, I, that's, why I, that's why I started losing weight, because I was sleeping everywhere. You think Obama would use this in a political ad? <laughs> With that, that noise. Yeah. You know, that droning. <laughs> and he even fell asleep at a Springsteen <laughs> show. Who does that? <laughs> just, I'll tell you the way Christy handled it was awful. Like, that press conference was disastrous. Like, I kind of understand now why they just shut up and ignore this. Now. Yeah. Like, it was, he should have just said, oh, please, I was enjoying the music enough, this idiocy, mm -hmm. and moved on. <laughs> you come up here. Now, let's, like, this is not the fucking, the trial of Clay Bertrand. <laughs> where you have to set up the fucking, you have to set up the seating arrangement. Now, I was sitting here. Right. Governor Conley is right here, and Jackie was right here. What? And if you see <laughs> Yeah, why do people have to overexplain? Yeah. You're right. If you're that powerful of a man, you go, shut up. I wasn't sleeping. Yeah, that's next, just... Next question. I was enjoying the thing. But the, he brings up someone that was at the show that works for him. What is, of course he's going to say he wasn't sleeping. And a guy yelled at me before during the other song, which I liked. Third song, second album. But then I was singing along to that song. My eyes were wide open. But here I had them closed because it was the fourth song of the new yeah. record. And I was very spiritual, as you know. All oh, right, yeah, we get it. Spiritual song. Up. In fairness to the Gov, why aren't there other pictures out there yet? Everyone goes to these shows. Mike is rolling is the phones. only one that caught it. Yeah. Fucking eagle eyed fucking did. Joker. No, my friend caught it. I just tweeted him. You fucking Joker. You yeah, eagle eyed Joker. You hear him? He's still uh, trying to distance himself from the controversy. I know. He's so You got scared. the copyright, brother. Yeah, he's international doing. copyright. Do you right. think it's going to interfere with like your job? Is that it? Like, no. Then what's why? What? Where's the fear? I used to want to deal with people on my Twitter. Well, let's go right now. I so I just deal with people. I just I turned it off and went to go exercise. Oh my god, my brain itches. The inside of my forehead itches. So then you can lose another forty <laughs> pounds. Sucks. Well, Roland, you were not aware of Eric's problem because you went Twitter dark. Yeah, rogue. <laughs> That's not he what Rogue dark means. He can go no, no, no. dark. He suspended his account. No, it doesn't I, even exist anymore. Yeah, he, he, but that's not what Rogue means. He said Rogue <laughs> just now. Are you guys? Yeah. He went rogue. rogue. That's not Rogue. Do you think he doesn't know the definition of Rogue? What is what does Rogue mean? How is that Rogue? It means I'm gonna be at the six seven five bar tonight, drinking with Troy Kwan. That's right. Are you gonna be there tonight? DJing tonight. You and, and DJing open house on Thursday here What's in the, the city. Open house. It's a cool cl uh, club down the Lower East Side. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that doesn't make it less relevant that rogue. Roland has no idea what the word rogue means. Like, even when Bob Kelly comes in here and he's like, I'm going to be a rogue cop, you're like, oh, that's like a cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rogue is like, you know, like like on your own, independent. He it's a shade of red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that? No. No. Oh. It's rouge. <laughs> it's on your own. Rogue means like you're independent, you're on your own, you're against the system. Oh. You're, you're, you're a one-man army. I'm the rogue. Yeah. If you were like on Twitter and going against the system and everybody was saying, Roland, you have to stop this. And you were like, no, I play by my own rules on Twitter. Like Eric is going rogue on Twitter <laughs> because he's pissing everyone off. <laughs> he's a rebel without a cause on that thing. You Scared. are a pussy. You're a Twitter <laughs> pussy. Scared. There's a difference between being you rogue away. and yeah, being a pussy. You deleted your Twitter account yeah, <laughs> because people were picking up on your, your picture you tweeted out of uh, Governor Chris Christie. I know what you're talking about. That's what you did. I did not. Are you bringing the Twitter account back? No. You have to. You should. I mean, there. I really say, if you go to the Daily Mail, 
the you know the giant England news publication. Yeah, we're... there's a picture of Chris Christie. Who? Why anyone in England cares about the governor of New Jersey? But I have to say, Eric's tag and Obi's tag is on there too. But the picture, which is it's just by itself, simply says uh, Chris Christie copyright mm-hmm. Twitter. At Rolando's 99. I know who that guy is. I love how excited Roland excited. was when he first tweeted this picture out. And he was two like, weeks he was, ago. Yeah, I know, but you were like adding Opie and adding Eric yeah. and, and, and news organizations and stuff. Oh, I didn't add news organizations. I just Somebody did. did. Who, maybe it was Eric. Oh, no, it wasn't well, me. At Roland. And now you're just running away. <laughs> he's, okay, he's deleted, he deleted his Twitter account because people kept replying him and kept replying to Chris Christie. He deleted his Facebook account for reasons that are still unknown to me. I don't me. understand either. You just wanted to get off the grid? I asked uh. him, and he tweeted back, they're following me. <laughs> <laughs> so paranoid. He is so paranoid. He, call, he was caught literally. I don't pick up the phone for almost anyone. I usually pick up the phone for Roland, but I may have to break that rule because he was calling me all weekend. That's true. With his Chris Christie bullshit. That's true. Sam. Sam. They, they they tweeted me in Switzerland. <laughs> they are on Switzerland TV. My yeah. friend in Iceland just said he saw me. <laughs> this is bad, Sam. This is bad. You got to start recording those. I should. You should. You just, just like put that on speakerphone and just record them. Because he was he's so paranoid. He's like, yeah. I, last night he calls me. He's like, I just I, da- I just deleted my Facebook account too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> got rid of my email. I, I switched my name and my Facebook too. And then he starts going, you, you, you don't, you don't think I can get fired, though, do you? And I go, no, Roland. <laughs> I've told you, nobody can fire you for tweeting a picture of Chris Christie asleep at a concert you were at. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, you don't know. You didn't. You know, they, 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 you Liam, don't think they can fuck fire with my head. Liam is a moron. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Plus, he fucks with people all the time. I know. That's all he does. He's an alcoholic. You know, Roland's yeah. losing his mind because. And this it's is your the, fault. It's the diet. Troy. Why is this my fault? You told Roland to get healthier. I did. And now Roland is on a diet. And he's looking good, too. Yeah. yeah mentally, right. though, mentally, he's not looking good. Because you know why? Because Roland is incapable of dealing with <laughs> any minimal amount of stress. Right. <laughs> and, and it's even worse because he's also incapable of realizing that his actions have consequences. Right. Because he will say some stupid shit. On the after show, he'll come on the air and say it, thinking nobody's listening. Nobody's listening. <laughs> right. I could take calls all day long, and Roland's going, nobody's listening. He goes to Springsteen, and people are like, hey, Roland, I hear you on the shit show. Nobody's listening. So he doesn't realize that when he tweets things out and when he says things on the air, that these actions have consequences. I do shit. <laughs> and when people start holding him to what he says, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I, 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 delete, 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 delete. And so... He's got that kind of stress mentality. He cuts off his underwear in the back room. <laughs> what he was well, that's because of this reason, and it's your fault. That's the, I will not take responsibility for that. Well, you should because no. what he was doing before was he Pizza. would he would take the stress and he would cope with his stress in one of two ways. The first way booze. was copious amounts of alcohol, mm. booze. Yeah, he would pass, just drink until he passed out every night of the week, and that's how he would deal with his stress. And he would get by his workday by just knowing. Okay, soon enough, I'll be intoxicated, yeah. and then everything will be fine. And pizza. And that's the other option. And bakeries. And chicken cordon bleu. Copious oh, amounts of food. That. I love it. And, or, would... or pizza or uh, in, like a nice dessert, like a big or piece beef. of cake. Or beef. You love beef. Steak, a nice, like a, probably a two-pound <laughs> porterhouse. You've just named every food. He would eat until he was about to explode. And those were the two ways of dealing with his stress. This diet that you've gotten into his head... He needs to do for his health. You know health. that he needs to lose weight. You know that. Yeah, but guess what? He's going to jump out a window. No, he won't. He'll be fine. He just He's, he's going not through, gonna be he's fine. going to be through withdrawal. Okay, first yeah. of all, it's been three weeks now. Yeah, I'm playing Withdrawal's tennis over. too. He's playing tennis now. Yeah, no, because he's going crazy dealing with the stress. That's great. Look at him. He's looking good. He deleted his Twitter. He deleted his Facebook. On Troy, we brought it up once. I'm going to confirm this. On two occasions, two separate occasions... Roland has sat in the back office, taken a pair of scissors, and cut off his underpants. While he's, he's wearing them. While he's wearing them? Yeah. While they're on his body. And it's checking him You don't have to wave me off, Roland. I'm the only one in the office. And what am I going to file an HR complaint? I need food. That's what I'm saying. He cuts his underwear off, and then he starts dumping bottles of water on his head. Yeah. You don't do that? No. You don't dump bottles of water on your no. head? Eric? Has Roland ever dumped a bottle of water on his head for no reason? Uh, many times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then he walks around the hallway soaked. And everybody's like, what did you do? Why are you soaking wet? My office is hot. 
<laughs> and then he says, my office is hot. <laughs> this is what you've done to him because you've not allowed him to eat his treats he's and drink his booze. I played tennis for two hours on Saturday. He's a grown-ass man. He can do whatever he feels fit. But he is looking good. He's starting and, to get in shape. And, and my sleep weight. apnea is gone. Yeah, but guess what? Your waking life is a nightmare. It's just a, it's just a hump, dude. You'll yeah. get over it. you got to find the medium. Now tell me this. When we're in Cleveland, are you going to be drinking? Frank the Tank is coming now. That's what I like to hear, Rowan. Yeah. I'm we're taking a little it. break. We're taking a little break. And we know. We're going to take a one-day break. Troy knows. Because Troy likes to keep himself in shape. Cause, cause but I, guess what happens on Fridays? I, I've, I haven't had a cheat day yet. Right. Guess so, what happens on Fridays for Troy? Hmm. Wendy's. Yeah. I enjoy he it. He treats himself. Yeah. Because it's important. I'm going to... There'll be a cape. And I'll be running around screaming. In what? In the cape? Yeah, or the cheat that the Marriott provides. <laughs> You'll be running around your hotel. Yes. In a cape. Yes. Don't, and, let, don't let us down in, in Cleveland. What don't. type of clothing will you be wearing? Huh? <laughs> thong. <laughs> <laughs> or shorts. Well, make sure you pack your thong then. Um, no, I wear shorts. Chris. I've never been to oh, Chris was just about to call you the devil. Why am I the devil? Because you've convinced him to lead this quote unquote healthy life. Where he's getting super paranoid. He's calling me all weekend. You've ruined my life. And. Thank you for taking my calls. I will always take your calls, Roland. Love you. <laughs> and he's cutting his underwear off with scissors. It's just a hump. He's going to get over it and he's going to start looking better. He's going to start feeling better. You really think so? I, yeah. I, 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 I hope so. I'm sleeping. I, I, usually I used to wake up trying to catch my breath because of the sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. Haven't happened in three weeks. Good. He's looking good. Look at him. He's got a haircut. He shaves. I mean, you look better. Yeah, there is a difference. Um, I just wish that we could find some way to, to better channel your stress. You know what? The tennis did, though. The I, tennis I, did? Yeah, because I had a lot of stress, and after I played, I was calm. So you think maybe incorporating some exercise. Well, why don't... I'm playing every week now. Why don't you get a, a, a whatever gym membership for downstairs? I have one in my apartment. But I'm saying that way you could take some of this stress that you have at work and just go downstairs and work out. Well, and that way you you wouldn't be cutting off your underwear with pairs of scissors. Well, well now uh, in my apartment we have uh, – they put a tennis thing in the building for like a tennis wall. But will you be able to hold out your stress from work till you get home to play tennis? Yes, because – Or will you cut off your underwear? No, I'm going to hold out. You will? Yep. And once I, like I play, I go, okay, I'm calm now because I know that, that that does help. So maybe last week because we can start fresh now. This fresh. So we'll say last week – was a wash. It was crazy rolling week. It was crazy rolling. We went a little crazy last week, didn't we? Yeah, you pushed me. I pushed you? Yes. You're the puppet master. I push. You. You're not Eric? responsible for your own actions. Eric? Yeah, he's a puppet master. Oh, Eric's, Eric's coming in. Yeah. He's coming. He's walking very slowly. He must be the draw. I did not push you, Roland. Oh. There were multiple times where you did these things without me even looking, and I turned around, and you've got a bottle of water on your head. So that was that, that was the dark times because when uh, <laughs> when I tried when when you when you go from eating like shit for thirty odd years right and then you pump the brakes and you go I got to eat good it's a it's a tough transition so we're done with crazy week though I'm done it was so, like, it, like Troy said he said it's, it's like detoxing it's a transitional period because you're no dairy no booze no fried foods so no last desserts week, last week. It was the last of my hump. Was when we get through the actual dietary and lifestyle changes. Yeah. This week, we keep those aspects and we start working on mental health. Um, and uh, and, and then uh, I'm gonna... my friend said, hey, you should play tennis because that's what relieved her. So I was like, I'll try. Then once I did it, boom. You know what I would, if I were you, add on to the tennis? Hmm. A lot of therapy. Seeing a therapist for more, multiple days a week. I don't waste my money. You're not going to do that? No. Troy, do you think Roland would benefit from seeing a therapist? I mean, it doesn't hurt to talk to somebody. I think you'd benefit from seeing a therapist. I'd be bored. Like. I think. I think honestly, as soon as he starts feeling better about himself, starts exercising, everything will it'll change. Everything's going to change. I hope so because yeah. he's a psycho. He is. He's just. He's. He's he, just but, all, all the toxins and shit that are in his body. But that is that going to help him handle stress better? Well, he's not good with stress. Well, he needs to learn how to manage his stress. That's what a therapist would help him with. So you manage your stress one of one of a couple ways. You know, he used to eat a lot of food. Now you can just work out and blow off the steam. Yeah, and just go, ah, and just healing the tennis balls hard and everything. It just relieved everything. Now, what if you get to a place where you can take things in for what they are, so you don't have that ag aggressive, you know, I want to... Where do you work at? I you guess... Have to be, because every time you come in here, you're like... Whoosh. 
Or you have to be on guard. Not me. I mean, you got to really start adopting a sort of, oh, for lack of a better term, like you, like a, you said blackening up. I would like to better say this, but like a who gives a fuck mentality type thing. And it'll be, I mean, things become a lot easier. Yeah, it helps. All right. You know what I mean? See, I, I just had to get over the hump of the food. That I think tough. so. I think that's going to be tough. I mean, it was tough, but I think you're there. Yeah, with the dairy and all that, because it was tough though with the food, because I was, I, people go, hey, come over. There's all this food. I'm like, I need it. But I know I can't have it. But now you're more used to that. Now I'm over that. I that's love it. the hump. I love it. Roland, there he is. There's Liam. There's the guy who's been ruining your life. Yeah. Let's let's hear I love him though. Here. If I, I would have been, I would have done the same thing. Liam, the talent booker for Sirius XM. You know what you've really? done to Roland? Do you know what you've done to Roland? I think uh, I, I he removed his uh, his Twitter. He, re- he he because of you. Not, because of you. Yes. Not, yes. Not really. Yes, though. really. No. Because of you, he killed his Twitter. He killed his Facebook. <laughs> He's calling me all weekend. To talk about different Chris Christie stuff. It's it's a little nerve wracking. I can see where How he's is a it nerve wracking? I can see where he's a little nervous. No, that's you see this, ladies and gentlemen? You hear what Liam is doing? Well, I right just say that Liam is brilliant for doing that. I would have done the what same are thing. What are you talking about? No, this is true. It, this is exactly how I feel. If you read these articles, it's like some crazy Twitterer and some crazy person and some Twitter person, like they're all citing him without citing him. But and, he did it. Right. He tweeted it out. That's a problem. Why? He because, fell asleep at a concert. Because this guy is up to be the vice president of the United but States of America. He yeah. might not get it, though. He might not get it, though. And guess what? <laughs> Mitt Romney might. When Joe it. Biden was falling, or whoever it was, was falling asleep at the State of the Union address, yeah. they weren't like, fuck you, CNN, for filming me. They were like, wow, he probably <laughs> shouldn't have fallen asleep. They were probably pretty pissed at CNN. Yeah, but guess what? They knew they probably shouldn't have fallen asleep at the State of the Union. Yeah, but CNN, you can't just shut down CNN. You can shut down Roland Campos. He's, he's, shut... he's no one. All right, so we won't get Chris he's Christie on this show after all. No, it's not even that. It's like it's it's like a, a personal inquisition to him, like him putting out things. And now there's this talk that he wasn't even sleeping. If you look at that photo, it lends credence to him just saying, I was vibing, man. I was just really vibing. vibing. It doesn't look like he was sleeping. His eyes and, were And shut. that makes Roland a liar. First of all... Roland wouldn't exactly be the first liar on Twitter. And second of all... <laughs> to defame or to, to face a public figure, a political public figure who runs an entire state? Yes, because the one thing about public figures is they're never mocked. <laughs> John Stewart has really had a tough go of it, hasn't he? I'm just, I'm just saying that... Well, for, that's John Stewart. There's a big. You know the difference between John you Stewart can, and Roland. If if you see, if you're at Madison Square Garden and there's eighteen thousand people there, right? Right. And you see the governor of New Jersey, stupid enough to fall asleep. You take a picture and show your friends and tweet that shit no. out. Why not? Because then they come looking for him. I for mean, what? He doesn't live in New Jersey. For lying about about a public figure. You can lie about him all you want. Not, you with, to, not a, with a photo. That's slander. You can you can be sued over, over that. No, you can't. If you're a you public figure. You can be sued figure. over over Twitter. No. Yeah. You cannot be sued. You can be sued over tweets. No, if you take the money. No. Uh, to take the money. No, no, no. You can be sued over tweets. If, if you if, see him sleeping. Yeah. And you take a picture. It could of be him. a civil suit. Sure. There's no way he could sue him. <laughs> It's, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't defame him at all. It's a Defacing of his character. Him. He's sleeping. And Christie cares about the, his Springsteen presence. You he can, loves you Bruce can and sue Bruce him. Hates him. If Roland said yeah, and then he said Springsteen was gay, then Chris Christie could sue Roland. But if he said he fell asleep, there's no. There's but no, he didn't there's fall asleep, yes, so it's did. a lie. Yes, he did. And second of all, it's not lying that's the problem. It's defaming. If I said Roland has a giant penis, <laughs> I don't. Roland's not. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, but it'll probably get bigger as you lose weight. But please, the pubis loses weight. So true it'll story. Be, it's better. No, that is true. Uh, <laughs> but if I say like, "Oh, Roland was wearing a red shirt today," right? right. He's not going to sue me and say, "Wrong, I was wearing a blue shirt." You've defamed. It's a little me. different. No, it's not. Falling asleep at a concert is not a falling defamation. asleep at a concert where you're you're this huge supporter. It's publicly hey. known. All right, check it out. What's on MSNBC? <laughs> You did that. Politics you now. did that. Dude, you know what? So, you did that. You're so fucked, dude. <laughs> and, and Liam, you know what else? You're like this. Uh, I was but, going through. I was going through look. news articles today, and even though he shut his Twitter account down, mm-hmm. you go and you Google news it. Even if you Google image Chris Christie sleeping, yeah. 
the first picture that comes up is from the Daily Mail uh-huh. in the, in England, in yeah. the United Kingdom. It's gone global. And under the picture, in little font, because they wanted to make sure that everybody got their proper credit, right. it says picture, and then a copyright sign, copyright Twitter at Rolando's no! 99, right <laughs> on the picture. <laughs> Roll and fire your shit back up. But, but I want to say this, though. Being a fat guy, like <laughs> me, like you know, I had barbecue, and we went to go see McCartney. I had barbecue... And when the when in the arena ice is warm, I go okay, I'm ready. And all of a sudden, I wake up. I'm like, I fell asleep again. Yeah, right. he's at McCartney. McCartney is pl- sound checking, sound exclusive, play, exclusive play, private, it, playing. Let it be. Yeah. There's 20 people in and the he's audience. Out fucking cold. You know why? I'm I was, I'm fat. <laughs> That's what happens to fat people. That's my fat. Thing. Is he allowed to say Chris Christie's fat? Yeah, I'm fat. I guess. That's sure. not exactly defamation. The guy's uh, sure, but, 700 but pounds. Fat. But the guy has publicly shown his support of Bruce. Bruce has publicly said, I don't like this guy. Stop using my music yeah. the way you do. Well, guess so what? this is a contentious subject to delve into then already. Maybe he shouldn't be and then sleeping. he's putting, he's li- it's not, he wasn't sleeping. He was sleeping no, William. it was a lie. You believe everything they tell you, don't you? No, I, don't, I looked at the photo. I heard his argument. I heard Roland's side of it. And I said, that doesn't look like a dude who's sleeping. Plus, sleeping, your head's down. And plus, you're, for you're, Eric, though, my vision is bad. It's not bad. He was sleeping. But look. I saw the photo. <laughs> like I said, with fat people. I like, think I'm he a... wasn't sleeping. Troy, right. you think Roland's fucked? Yeah, he's fucked, dude. I yeah. think I think it's a little tricky. You. No, I'm just kidding. He is, no. he is going to tweet for me that I'm DJing at 6 yeah. and 5 bar tonight. Oh, good. Tonight? Yeah. Wow. yeah but Wait, but you is... don't have a Twitter anymore. He said he's going to start it back up for that. Oh, yeah. okay. But, but not with you around. Yeah, but the thing is, like, at, at when you gain weight, I fell asleep at front row of four plays, movies, restaurants, everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Roland, you got to pick one defense or the other. That implies he was sleeping. Yeah, was... I'm, I'm a fat guy. I sleep everywhere. Yeah. Chris in Wisconsin. Hey, Liam. Yeah. Are you an attorney? No. Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude. Where do you get off? Where do you get off giving legal advice to anybody on the fucking radio? Because this is a very gr- no shit. this is no shit. it's shut a gray area, up. and I I would err uh, on the side of caution. How do you uh, know it's a gray area? Sam, are you a fucking attorney? No. Are you going to represent him in court? No, that's why I told him this to. Um, oh, wait, so sorry, wait, wait, hold on the He's line. So you shut the I, fuck I, up. I got Blu-ray for him, Chris. You just want a Blu-ray? You got Blu-ray. I love you. Awesome. <laughs> Hold on. He's even angry when he something. wins. Yeah. Look, there is no gray area here because this is not a real scandal. Sure it is. He said he was sleeping because his eyes it's were shut. It's on CNN. Because but, there's nothing else going on. Yeah. It doesn't, for, that doesn't mean anything. It's the fact that it's on the news. Wait for a tsunami, Plus, you asshole. Like, <laughs> and, and this is Roland's worst case scenario. What's people dead? He lied. <laughs> and he said that. Worst case scenario for Roland is yeah. that he lied about a guy who did not actually fall asleep. Okay, can you imagine Roland getting a phone call from some attorney in the middle of nowhere just saying, Hey, I'm representing Governor Christie. You wrote something on the internet that's a lie about this huge political public figure. We need you to come down to our office to discuss this. Then Roland should Then be... you have to get a lawyer. No, you don't. Then, no, you, you know don't. what you say? Fuck you. <laughs> that's what you say. Because you say, you know what you that's just said? That's not what you do. That's Subpoena. exactly what you do. That's not what you because do. You say, you just said public figure. Yeah. yeah so he's yeah. in public. He's in public. I can talk. What makes the difference between a public figure and a private figure is like TMZ. A public figures, it's a lot harder to invade their privacy. I guess. If somebody says some shit about me, I'm not going to say, hey, don't invade. I'm a public figure. You can do that. Yeah, but if you were at the beach and you saw a picture of some well, celebrity that, walking down TMZ along does. the beach and you snap a shot, yeah. TMZ does, but TMZ has a team of attorneys to protect them from situations. You're Roland Campos. You're all by yourself. There's no jurisdiction in this the world. This company is not going to support you if, the, if yeah, you, you have an issue. You don't need the company. There's, there's nothing nobody, to do with the company. Nobody, would sue, with the nobody company. would sue... Because a, a fat governor, and, and he, he is fat, fell asleep. <laughs> and he did it on, not on work time. He didn't. He fell asleep at a Springsteen concert like right. a dope, and he is a dope as well. And Roland tweeted out about it. And I think it's a lot more uh, demoralizing and decharacterizing the fact that I just called him a fat dope than Roland <laughs> said he fell asleep at Madison Square Garden. Because he is. If he's going to go on TV and call Roland a joker, yeah. then I'm going to go on this show and call him a big Fat dope. Wow. Well, do I do I? I have like forty, like thirty, forty pounds left. Yeah, <laughs> I do, man. I got a little power. How would you feel if you got that phone call from some attorney just saying, "Hey, we need to talk to you about this situation." Roland, if you do it, uh, pick up that phone and be like, 
fuck you. That's uh, what you do if they you call you. I go, oh, um, Roland not here. Roland's not <laughs> here. <laughs> Roland's not here. He would, he I'm would, sure that's what he, he would, would do. He would cancel his phone service. Yeah. <laughs> like, They're calling me. <laughs> um, some phone service would be canceled. Yeah. Uh, Plus CV in me. Alabama. What's up, dude? Well, I was kind of wanting Sam and first time called the show, bro. I was, if uh, Roland took a picture and tweeted Liam right now, would he get a good sound legal advice caption or would he get an ass kiss and does and need to shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> See what they're saying, Liam? Well, I, I can't so. I, I can't Twitter Liam because my account's down. Yeah. <laughs> no, there is no. Ron can't tweet anything. Yeah. Where's Roland? I'm supposed to be getting some David Bowie t shirts, some Rolling Stone t shirts. I'm supposed to be getting a Kurt Cobain Nirvana t shirt. And I was supposed to be getting my t-shirts? on Twitter, which he didn't start up again. No, he, he was, he's a little scared. For what? They showed that Governor Christie photo all over TV last night. Thanks for the heads up on Twitter. Uh, a lot of people looking out for me. I guess O'Reilly had it. And O'Reilly showed the picture of Governor Christie um, possibly sleeping at the Springsteen show. And I'm like, oh, here's O'Reilly. He's going to have to stick up for uh, Governor Christie. He gave a look and a, uh, a line or two like, oh, really? You're saying you weren't asleep? And he almost rolled his eyes like it's very obvious you were asleep. But he, I guess he couldn't go all in. But it was, it was pretty evident to me that uh, O'Reilly believes that he might have been sleeping at the Springsteen show. I was all hoping for my Twitter plugs and... But did you hear Liam on the after show yesterday? Why would I? He's the one who's freaking out Roland. Oh, really? He keeps telling Roland that somebody's going to call him and sue him and that he's going to get fired. Sue him for posting a picture? Do you know how dumb Governor Christie would look if he sued a fucking fucking Springsteen fan for posting a Twitter photo when it looks like he's sleeping? Yeah. What? Uh, Nothing. You didn't start your Twitter account back nah, up. Yeah, I have nothing to tweet anymore. <laughs> uh, why wouldn't you? But that drives me nuts that people here are telling Roland this and freaking him out. And it's like, oh, yeah. look at this. Go ahead, hit play this. This is from GMA, uh, which is Good Morning America, a, a little TV show on Come ABC. On. This would be like touching the third rail of New Jersey politics. The governor, however, is fighting back, and this morning, Ron is on the story. Hey, Ron. Alleged is the key word here, Alleged. Dan. It all began when someone, a Democrat, Roland. snapped a photo of the pause. Democrat. Pause. Why, yeah, by the pause. Why do they have to always do that shit? Maybe sometimes someone goes, holy fuck, this is a cool photo. I'm going to take it. Why does it always have to be political? Well, holy shit. And I'll tell it's you. stupid role, and he doesn't know the first thing about politics. And why that don't they, and why don't they <laughs> know correct, who it right? is? Why don't they know who it is? Because there's, it, they know who it is, but it, they they don't want. They're gonna make believe they don't know who it is. But they don't know what Rolando means. They don't know the connection. And How about you do a little research yeah. and you know that Roland doesn't give a fuck about politics? But they all do this. Well, they, but yeah, but they can't do research because he took his Twitter down because people at the company are panicking. Who's panicking at the company? Like, that's what I'm saying. I understand why. Roland's By the way, nervous. not one discussion with the marketing department here about no, this photo. No, not one. No. And, why would there be? And I, I snaked my own Twitter into this whole thing. They're they're putting Opie Radio on TV. They're putting Rolando ninety nine. Rolando. You got all the Fox. Rolando what? Rolando is ninety nine. Rolando is ninety nine. You would think Sirius XM would actually walk down to the studio and have maybe just a little conversation about this. Nope. Why don't they do that? Because. Nah, it's going to annoy me. Whether they like it or not, we don't even have a discussion about it. But this thing, you know, we're on day two. They're they're still talking about this uh, today. Ah, no, no, yeah, no. This, do they, uh, are they even aware that we're getting publicity? Well, I brought it up in our meeting yesterday that Roland had created, not only been a part of, but created a news story. And, and what did they say? Good job, Roland. Oh, good job, Roland. But you're all over Fox. No, yeah. but why not tie that in? Like, they, they should encourage you to keep your Twitter account and say, use it to promote the platform as a goof. Something. Have fun with it. All right, let's like, get... You know what I mean? Like, it, it should be something silly. You didn't do anything wrong. Go back. And also, I want to uh, play the <laughs> O'Reilly clip where, you know, not a big O'Reilly fan, I'll be honest with you, but he did the right thing with this picture. He didn't politicize. He go, oh, but he obviously wasn't sleeping. He uh, basically hinted, like, oh, I think he might be sleeping. On the story, hey, Ron. Alleged is the key word Alleged. here, Dan. It all began when someone, a Democrat perhaps, snapped perhaps, a photo really? of a Republican governor with his so eyes closed at guy. the Springsteen <laughs> concert, which would definitely be a no-no for a New Jersey politician. But now the governor is offering his own explanation. He says he was grooving to the music. You decide. He is New Jersey's biggest rock That's good. Star. Show Springsteen from 1985. 
They have nothing to talk about. He's the state's biggest yeah. and most famously pugnacious political star. He's fat. Get the hell off the beach in Asbury Park. Chris off. Christie is also a big fan of the... I'm starting to think Christie is a tough guy. Yeah. I'm starting to think he wanted to be in The Sopranos. Yeah. You hear what he said about the New Jersey Nets? Yeah, goodbye. He said good riddance. Yeah, yeah. You got to get that clip, too. That's a good clip to play today. Because <laughs> uh, the New Jersey Nets are officially leaving Jersey. Everyone knows that. But they played their last game in New Jersey. And uh, next time you see them at home, it's going to be in Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Nets, which I think is really cool for the franchise. I think it's going to fucking wake that franchise the fuck up. But uh, Governor Christie had to be the tough governor saying, good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blowhard shit. Why would he want athletes in this fucking state? Right. You're not a soprano guy. Relax. You're not. Just govern, you dope. Lose some weight. <laughs> Fat fuck. Who he, can, he can't control his weight, but he's going to tell us what to do. That's exactly. Oh, really? Exactly it. Let the state vote on that. Yeah. How about the state votes on if you're a certain weight? They don't have to pay your fucking medical bills. Right. You want, you want the voters to decide on fucking. On who can get married? Right. How about you let the fucking voters decide on what, what weight the state stops providing your government health care, fucking fatso? He wears a hula hoop as a belt <laughs> at this point. He is the roundest person I've ever seen in my He's life. He's horrendous. All right, play, uh, play uh, the Bruce Springsteen from, I would guess this is, uh, Roland would know, uh, 1982. Two, Roland maybe? knows what show this is. This is, probably, no. this is ABC. Why can't they get their... It's like 80, uh, 80, well, they probably filmed it like in 84, 85. But a lot of people out there would look at ABC like as a respectable news organization, and they don't even have... They don't even have their stock footage up to date. They have to show Springsteen from like 25 years ago for a Springsteen. Uh, and then explain story. who he is. He is a rocker from right. New Jersey. Well, they, they, they updated Springsteen later in the story. All right. A veteran of more than 120 Springsteen concerts, including this one in New York City's Madison Square Garden just a few weeks ago. So imagine the governor's embarrassment when a fellow <laughs> concert goer snapped this photo of Christy Rolando's apparently 99. snoozing in mid-concert. Falling asleep at a Bruce Springsteen concert is about the worst thing that a New Jersey politician can possibly do. I think it's worse <laughs> even know. than insulting the cast of the Jersey Shore. <laughs> But Christy is it's not taking the accusation lying here. down. He's fighting back. During Rocky Ground, which is like kind of a really spiritual song, is it? Um, it people is. sat. So I sat up on the seat, Rolando. and I put my head back and closed my eyes and listened to the song. The incident, dubbed Snoozegate by one website, was quickly splashed across newspaper headlines from Cape May to Hoboken and beyond. Fair or not, Christy now joins such alleged narcoleptic luminaries as Vice President Joe Biden, who was caught resting his eyelids during a speech by President Obama. <laughs> Former Vice President Dick Cheney, who seemed to be slumbering during a cabinet meeting. <laughs> and Pope Benedict, who once caught a few winks during a Sunday mass on Malta. <laughs> But somehow, it's especially uncool to appear to nod off during a high-decibel rock concert. This is Bruce Springsteen, after all, not the opera. I have never fallen asleep during a Bruce Springsteen show. I will never fall asleep during a Bruce Springsteen show. Well, but it only got worse for Christy when he started reciting the names of everyone who was with him at that concert, apparently, to try to prove that he was fully conscious throughout. The governor said his wife was not there. It turns out she was there, oh. prompting Christy to say, it was dark. What did I know? I was tired. Oh, oh. no. That seems to be self-incriminating. Yes. yes. But he also said, listen, nobody was taking my photo when I was fist pumping during Badlands. Was he body surfing is the big that question. <laughs> I'll tell you, okay. uh, I would I would say he was sleeping. I would say he nodded off a little bit. He just seems yes, Kenny, like a douchebag with this whole thing. Is there any way to see that picture to prove or disprove that he sat up on the seat like he contends? Well, he said he sat up on his seat and put his head back, but the picture that uh, made it to Roland's Twitter, we'll just say, uh, shows his head kind of forward, and that's right. the position you would put your head if you wanted, like, Get a quick little cat nap in, and he, you know what, he actually may have been relaxing and enjoying the music, but it's just funny that he's such. He's one of these guys. He's so annoyed that he has to explain this, and he wants to make everybody believe him. Right, he's going a little too far. You got the uh, O'Reilly clip from last night. Mm, I'm Although, can I say somebody raised a very, very smart point? Yes, that he may be pushing this story. I believe it was our own Danny. 
who suggested this to me, uh, because he may be trying to cover up something else that's going to pop up that he knows is coming up, and this is a, a, a pleasant, annoying distraction. It, it, like This is such ridiculous, non-penalty news, that. really. Right. He may be doing this because something else is coming around the corner that they won't cover his vigorous. I don't know. Yeah. There might be a strategy by him to do this. You get the get the clip of Christy uh, talking about the New Jersey Nets and good riddance, too. we got a bunch of Christy <laughs> clips to play today. He uh, He's one to look at a little closer. You know, just how he presents himself. Yeah, he kind of annoys me. Does he? Yeah. His attitude? His tough guy attitude? I don't mind that as much as just his stance on that one thing drives me fucking nuts. The, the gay thing? Oh. Well, he wants the people to vote. But why should they? None of that fucking business. That's how he spun it. He goes, no, let's let the people uh, vote on that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing that with every single issue? No, of course not. But, that, but that's how he got out of that controversy. Exa ex that's exactly what he did. He got out of it. Right. Instead of making a tough call. Look, if you're not for it, then say it. I'm not going to the Nets game tonight, and my message to the Nets is goodbye. Um, Here's the tough guy. You know? Listen to the tough guy. He loves when people laugh at his stuff, too. He loves it. You don't want to stay? We don't want you. I mean, seriously, I'm not going to be in the, the business of begging people to stay here. That's, a, that's one of the, the, the most beautiful arenas in America that they've had the chance to play in. It's in one of um, the country's most vibrant cities. And they want to leave here and go to Brooklyn? Good riddance. See you later. I mean, I don't have any you know, concern about it. And I think there'll be some other NBA teams. Um, who may be looking to relocate, um, who say, you know, they look at that arena and they look at the, the, the base, the fan base here in the, in the New Jersey, New York area, and say this is an opportunity for us perhaps to, you know, increase our fan base and to try something different. So, yeah, I got, you know, there, there will be no tears shed on my part tonight. Um, they go, they go. That decision was made a long time ago, and uh, they want to go to Brooklyn. Um, have at it. No problem well, from my perspective. Well, I mean, you know, it's a tough spot. The, the the New Jersey Nets haven't haven't had a fan base in many 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 years. Absolutely. A lot of times when the Knicks play the Nets in New Jersey, there's way more Knicks fans. Plus, it's at the I side. Lee. It, that's a nice that's a nice place. It's in Newark. I mean, he, he, no, no, that's Prudential. I side is the Meadowlands. Oh, oh, they play over there. Mm -hmm. See, I don't even know. I, I just assume they play. The at... Devils play at Prudential. No, I know that, but they didn't. They didn't move the Nets over there. I don't think so. Did they? Uh... Shit on my face. <laughs> uh... Why? Why wouldn't they move the Nets over there? Now I'm very, very confused. Didn't they move the Nets? Help me out, somebody, please. They moved the Nets from where to where? From uh, the Meadowlands area to the the yeah, oh I based, didn't know that no 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 they're based in the Prudential Center you're right yeah right. okay wait they're they're in Newark I, and I, he called Newark one of the most vibrant areas yes that's the why ghetto. I, thank you that's why I I'm, I brought it yeah, up you're right oh but then fucking Roland confuses the fuck out of me I thought they played over there <laughs> why don't you tweet about it I haven't been to a Nets game but they they've had a tough time keeping their fans over the years even with the new place to play they weren't getting fans so I think they're gonna do really well in Brooklyn. Brooklyn yeah, was, was really made wrong. for fucking basketball. I mean, I think their I think their uh, jersey is going to sell like crazy. Plus a new concert arena. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, all right. New man. stadium. Yeah, but it, the most vibrant city, Newark, New Jersey. Let's relax. <laughs> They're trying really hard, but let's calm the fuck down. Yeah, there's a there's a few block radius. I, yeah, it's a real I, beehive of activity. I do go there for hockey games, and they 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 corral you to the to the. Uh, you know the Izod Center. Yeah, they corral you to the Izod Center. There's there's cops all over the place, no, no, basically no. saying this is the way you walk to go to the game. That's no. it. We don't really want you guys wandering from uh, you know the train station to the Izod Center. Prudential Center. Period. Prudential Center. Excuse Izod me. Center is Roland's confusing thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Prudential Center. Right. It's amazing the way they they completely block off the streets. Like you're free to roam the streets around the arena because the cops. Block everything off around there. Jimmy, they block it's perfect. every. It's literally they're corralling you. I know. Right to the Prudential Center. I go to. I do. I go to MMA events there because they're not dumb twats like New York City. Yeah. They don't have a fucking union. Right. Just fucking them in the ass. It's not a vibrant city. No. no it's a vibrant block. They got, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they figured out a couple bars and restaurants right around the Prudential Center. That's okay to do as well. But mm -hmm. man, you go two or three blocks, you could be in a world of hurt. Yeah, what the cops do. About? They, they don't do let corral you. you. Yeah, they don't let you, especially if you're this color. That's right. <laughs>
literally, we could see. I went there with Jess for a wrestling show like a couple weeks ago. And of course. You go. Well, what else? And you go to the corner, at, right where the cops are, and they let you pass. And you can see right across the street is where there are a bunch of people who you don't want to be on that corner. Right. And they're waiting, just waiting. Oh, they're, they're just they're, they're just, just ho- sitting, standing there. Yeah, just they're hoping. Just, they're just hoping. They <laughs> figure. Look, how many people for a wrestling event? Fifteen thousand. Yeah, they fill up the arena. So fifteen thousand. Let's say. So their odds are like, all right, out of fifteen thousand, we'll get a we'll get a handful of dummies. Yeah, Somebody somebody's will park. Gonna come from out of somebody's going to park a little too far away. Yeah. We'll get a cell phone or, or something, maybe a wallet <laughs> or two. <laughs> Do you think that they look for marks? Oh, oh yeah. My God, they have to. Oh, yeah. If you were in that business, why wouldn't you? Just standing on the corner. Just like, okay, police, we're fine. We're over here. We're not in your area. I would be three blocks away just waiting for an idiot. Waiting to give someone directions I, or something. I think the production center's this way. <laughs> Follow me. And smash them in the head with a rock and steal oh, everything in their pockets. With a fucking tire iron. No problem. <laughs> Empty the pockets. But so it's, the, yeah, it's that that one block is completely. It's, it's not vibrant, is the point. No, they're trying really hard, but it's not vibrant. That's a scary city, still. Like you said, there's no way it's safe to walk from the train station to the to the uh, Prudential Center unless there's an event, because then you know. Then they yeah they make a parade route for yeah, there's you. Yeah, whole there's a whole crowd. You're safe in a crowd. Yeah. When you all have your fucking New Jersey Devils uh, but, jerseys like, on, you can't wander around looking for a nice spot to eat. Uh, uh, no. You can't wander. I mean, there's, there's a couple... one street right next to the right. Prudential Center that there's a couple little places there. But besides that, I would never go any further. Yeah, you no can't fucking e- way. You can't explore the local culture of Newark. <laughs> yeah, but now, you know, Governor Christie's going to, you know, someone will now either get uh, mugged or raped because he he announced that it's a vibrant city. <laughs> it's vibrant. So people are going to go, oh, I didn't realize that. Let's let's uh, let's go to Newark and, uh, you know, check out the sites. Yeah. <laughs> I would bet money that someone's going to get now mugged because he said that. There's people at every corner just waiting to help you. Oh, I did. I growing up, I thought it was a hellhole, but he's what? saying it's vibrant. You know what? Let's go take a look at this place. They got the it's arena. So vibrant, right? You got the O'Reilly clip? Yeah, I don't think he posted it. Okay. That sleepy liar. Huh? That sleepy liar. I think he was sleeping. Well, it's good that you know. At least we're uh, no one here is encouraging Roland. That's good. No, not even a conversation. Not even a conversation with some, with people that I guess supposedly are running the channel. People upstairs, like not even saying that, to him. I understand why Roland's nervous. He's a fucking. He's a grunt. You know what I mean? He's a fucking. He's a foot soldier. He doesn't want to get fucking in, in trouble. But you're not one of these guys going on a roll. You're fine. You should, you should boot that back up. Like you know, us saying it's one thing, but somebody from the company saying it. Well, you don't know worry why, about it. You know why they will never do it though? They why? want to keep everyone scared around here. Because if God forbid something crazy happened somehow and there was any blowback and somebody said well why wouldn't roland have shut this down then roland would would be able to say well he told me it was so they're just no i understand sure what it is they're not the one who yeah but no. it, you know they should just say how in all a, likelihood nothing's going to happen except good and about promotion. A conversation about it we're getting a lot of pro- it was in a lot of papers and it's already Good Morning America. Fox did something. MSNBC. No, I don't know if. MSNBC. And instead of having Roland from uh, Sirius XM, they have blown a major marketing opportunity. Because I'll tell you one thing: they would have had Roland on. You know how great it would have been to see Roland on a new show. <laughs> I would have loved being it. interviewed. Put him in a stupid suit yeah, and tie. Yeah, sleepy. You'd be phenomenal. When was the last time you wore a tie, Roland? Um, eighth grade graduation. That was it, right? Yeah, yeah he was twenty. Yeah. <laughs> More importantly, where's my fucking T-shirts you promised me a week uh, later? Kevin just got back, so he's making those right now. So it'd be, it'd be like a week. You said a week last week. I know, but he just got back from China. Why was he in China? Uh, pick Did up he materials. win the big dick contest? Yeah, no, he has to go to China twice a week, or twice a month, and then India once a month. 